Hi everyone and welcome to another times table practice. Uh, today we're going to be practicing our four times table by using the counting stick again. So we're going to start by thinking about the multiples of four and adding them onto the stick as we count. See if you can count with me. Zero. Four. Eight. Twelve. 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. I wonder if you notice anything about the multiples of four. Are they all odd or are they all even? So before we start looking at the times tables, we're gonna practice counting in fours forwards and backwards. I'm going to point to the number and I want you to say the numbers out loud. We're going to go all the way from 0 to 40 and then when we get to 40 we're going to go back to 0. Are you ready? 0, 40. You ready to go backwards? 40, Great job. Now let's start saying the times tables. I'll say the times tables and I want you to write, shout out the answer. Are you ready? Zero times four, one times four, two times four, three times four, four times four, five times four, six times four, seven times four, eight times four, nine times four, and finally, 10 times four. Okay, I'm gonna change the order a little bit now. Let's see if you can remember, see some of the answers. Five times four, two times four, eight times four, zero times four. Okay, I'm gonna take a few off. We all know if you multiply a number by zero, it gives you zero, so, Four times zero, I'm going to leave over there as zero. I think we also know that if we times a number by one, we're going to have one times four, it's going to be four. So I'm going to take that one off as well. And let's also take off, I know you guys already know your 10 times table, so you know four times 10 is 40. So I'm going to take that one off as well. Okay. Zero times four, hopefully you said zero. One times four, that's four. 10 times four, is 40. Nine times four, eight times four, six times four is, four times four is, three times four is, two times four is, five times four is, seven times four is, Fantastic, I can tell you're ready to have a few more taken off as well. Let's take this one away, two times four, because we know our two times, we know our doubles. Double four is eight, so two times four is eight. Let's pop that one away. Uh, let's take off the five times four, because we know our five times tables as well. So we know that five times four is 20. So let's move that one away as well. And I think we can take away the three times four as well because we've practiced our threes already. We know that three times four is 12 and four times three is also 12. So let's take that away. Right, let's see which ones you can remember without all of the answers. Zero times four, one times four, two times four, three times four, four times four, five times four, six times four, seven times four, eight times four, nine times four, and 10 times four. Right, let's take a couple more off. Let's leave all of this side blank then because I'm gonna take off four times four, which is 16, I'm gonna leave that one over there. And I think I'll also take off nine times four. We know with the nines, if we're unsure, we can always think about what 10 times four is and then take that four away to leave us with 36. So I'm gonna take that one away as well. 
five times four, three times four, one times four, 10 times four, eight times four, nine times four, did you remember it's 36? Five times four is 20, four times four is 16, three times four is 12. Brilliant. Let's take some of these tricky ones up. Let's just remember this. We've got six times four is 24. Let's take that one away. Seven times four is 28. So we'll take that one away. And finally, eight times four is 32. Let's take that one away as well. Right, let's see how you get on without any of the answers. 10 times four, five times four is 20, three times four is 12, seven times four is 28, nine times four is 36, eight times four is 32, Two times four is eight, one times four, and zero times four. I don't need to tell you those ones. Right, fantastic, great job. I think you're ready for some chilly challenges. Okay, here they are. So if you're feeling confident and you wanna have a go at some of these, there are some one chilly challenges for you to try, either on a scrap piece of paper in your home learning book, for some of the ones we've just done, two times four, five times four, or zero times four. If you're feeling extra confident and you want to try and fill in the gaps for the two chili challenge, I wonder what we need to put here to make these number sentences correct. And finally, as you know, my county stick only goes up till 10, but it's important to know the 11 and the 12 times as well. So I wonder if you can use your brain to work at 11 times four and 12 times four. Pause the video now, have a little go, and then when you've finished, play the video again and we'll look at the answers together. Good luck. Welcome back. How did you get on? Should we have a look at some of the answers together? You can shout them out as I fill them in as well. So one chili, two times four, well that's the same as double four. So I know that two times four is eight. Five times four, well that's 20. With the four times table, I have to remember if the two times table is doubles, then if I ever forget my four times table, I could double the double. So for example, if it's five times four, I know double five is 10, and I can double that again to get 20, which is four lots of five as well, or five times four. What's zero times four? I hope that one didn't catch you out. That's always going to be zero. Did any of you have a go at the two chili and work out what's in these missing number sentences here? What's up to times by four to get to 24? Well, I could use my inverse operations, use my division to help me. 24 divided by four, well, that's six. So I know that six times four must be 24. And finally, what goes in here? What do you have to times by four to get to 36? Well, I know 10 times four is 40. 36, that's four less, so that must be nine times as well. Nine times four is 36. And finally, the ones that we couldn't fit on our counting stick, we should know that when we times them by 11, well, we're timesing it by four, it's got 110, and one one, so if I multiply it by four, it's going to have four tens and four ones, which leaves me with 44. And finally, 12 times four, I could just add four more to 44, because I know that 11 times four is 44, or because I'm very good at my 10 times and my two times tables, I could, I know that 10 times four is 40, I know that two times four is eight, I could put those together and the total, is 48. So the product of 12 and 4 is 48. How did you get on? If you found them easy, brilliant, well done, and maybe you could have a go at now the 8 times table. If any of them you still find them tricky and you want to keep challenging yourself, keep coming back to the video. You don't have to keep doing this because they're always going to be the same, but keep going back to the counting stick, keep saying them out loud. Practice makes perfect. Well done, and I'll see you again soon.